Day of the Dead is widely considered the most Mexican of all holidays. Mexicans believe during two days in November, they reunite with their dead family members and loved ones. Altars called ofrendas are decorated with photos of the deceased. Offerings include their favorite foods and drinks, along with these aromatic flowers called sepansuchil, which ancient civilizations used to guide the dead back to the land of the living. It's harvest time, and soon the flowers in this field in the state of Puebla will be sent to giant markets in Mexico City, where they'll be bought and sold just in time for Day of the Dead. Rodolfo Juarez and his family have made a living by growing and selling these flowers for years. But along with being a main source of income, Juarez says he also produces the flowers as a way of protecting this ancient Mexican tradition. We should maintain and keep our cultural identity intact. I think the way to do this is by passing it on to the next generations so that they will follow these important and beautiful traditions. In this way, we'll keep our identity alive. While many European cultures might consider cemeteries sad places, Mexicans see them as an opportunity to reconnect with the dead. The essence of this traditional ritual will take place in hundreds of cemeteries like this all across Mexico. Families will be reunited briefly with their dearly departed. Most ancient Mesoamerican cultures had special ceremonies designed to commemorate their dead. Over the centuries, these rituals have found their way into Mexican popular culture. They're a blending of indigenous ceremonies with European traditions, producing what we now call Day of the Dead. There is always a dialogue between life and death. They're not in constant struggle. Instead, ancient Mexicans saw them as the key forces of creation in the cosmos. It's like the yin and yang. In rural Mexico, traditional Day of the Dead ceremonies are still alive and well, and they last for two days, November 1st for remembering the children who died, and November 2nd for adults. Maria Nabor Andres is an indigenous Masawa woman from nearby Mexico State. She's come to Mexico City to sell traditional flowers and says her home is ready to receive her deceased loved ones. When I make my offering back in my rural hometown, I place the flowers in the shape of a heart. I place a photo of my dead family member inside it. Then we bring tropical fruits. In recent decades, Day of the Dead traditions have undergone a transformation. Now, the influence of Halloween from the United States is making its way into the mix. And some see the clash of cultures as a threat. Frank Contreras, CGTN, Mexico City.